Hi, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Uh, I was gonna, I've got a couple more sketchbooks to go through that I've uh, recently completed, but I'm gonna save these, I think, to next week. I wanted today to quickly share some of the work uh, I've done this week while it's fresh in my mind, in case there's any, I don't know, ideas or tips for you. You know, I, I often like to go to videos for some, as it were, visual eye candy to get me going. And uh, basically, also, I've also, learned something about myself this week in terms of I actually don't think I procrastinate doing art I actually realized reflecting that I've actually snuck in and done quite a lot of art when I've been procrastinating about doing other things such as uh, sorting out my Mac uh, my laptop and organizing my files digitalizing work that sort of stuff I feel like I'm more likely to start drawing or sketching or doodling just anything to um yeah put off uh tech admin the side of things but i've also to be fair i have got on with that as well so let's go now to my desk and i will share some of the um some of the sketch my newest sketchbooks because these ones finished that i have been working on and some that's really noisy isn't it work on paper okay let's go Okay, so I'm probably going to crop the aspect of this desk, but maybe I should show the absolute mess it is in. Um, but this sheet of paper, you know, I'm going to use this. This is what, I had it down because I think I was doing a sketchbook tour and I wanted, I, I used them as these big sort of cheap drawing paper sheets as, um, as like backgrounds. But you know, I'm going to turn this into an abstract. I'm probably going to come in and uh, play with this. I quite like, I don't know why, I just kind of like how they get dirty with all the pencils and things I'm using at the time. Now, what should I start with? Okay, let's leave that one to last. So this week I have been, um, yeah, mostly, to be honest, trying to uh, do some more work on my laptop with regards to doing prints. And I just want to show, but one of the things I have been playing about with, so I need to show, I have multiple sketchbooks still going. So in these sketchbooks, have a look. yeah, I want to talk about this process because this is quite fun. I don't, I always come up, well not come up, I mean I'm not inventing anything new, but like I always start playing around with new, um, for me, ways of working and then I kind of like move on. So, but this was fun and I hope I am going to continue with it for a bit more. So with it, this is really mixed media. And it's, I guess I'm carrying on from my loose sketchbooks, which I will do a tour of, but in, you know, changing up the sketchbook size. So these like Artesia, mixed media, bigger sketchbooks, um, which I got actually on quite a good offer recently. So it's worth keeping an eye out. It's just on Amazon. Um, but I'm laying down using sort of a sound like, you know, if you've got sort of bore, boring, should I say boring, should you? Uh, landscape on your phone, photos of places that you go a lot, like, for me is where I run repetitively through but scenes that you almost know off by heart and you take a sort of a uh, taking a, sh a picture when you're out and about but you almost want the pictures that aren't that if it was a you wouldn't particularly put it on your wall or show your friends in terms of it's not great photography it's a pretty bland scene you can play what I'm enjoying doing now is playing around with those references um on my phone or you could use I know a lot of artists use map crunch just get a a landscape and then I am just laying down blocks of this is for me I'm trying to actually use markers so I've got you know you can use any markers you've got um, and then laying down blocks of colour and then coming on top just adding in I'm just, it's a, I think it looks like it is a landscape but it's really playing around sort of almost becomes sort of an imaginary landscape and just using trying to actually mix marks in into the um piece and so what I, what I want to show this is this is a finished one for me i like this page this is one that i think i'm probably going to carry on in a similar style with so here i've sort of got a pink i mean this was gray but i've changed it to pink i'm adding in the some trees that were in the photo but and here i've even now i'm trying on this one I don't think I use, I know I did use paint on this one. Here I'm using a little bit of uh, Japanese watercolours as well. So whatever I've got out, I'm sort of just grabbing 
and just adding to these sketchbooks what I feel like doing. And um, so yeah, that's a fun uh, way of working at the moment. And I'm really, this week I've used a lot of, I think I have changed up, to be fair, my idea of changing around what my, what's on my desk has really worked well, because I feel like if you've got something in front of you, or e at easy reach, you're more likely to use it than if it's like in a drawer somewhere. So these, you know, Pentel oil pastels, I really like these because I don't, I, they're really, um, you get a nice colour with them, but they're not too, probably they will smudge. I know they're not the highest quality, but for me, for a sketchbook work, just working out what happens when you layer colours on top of each other, they're, they're perfectly adequate, really good. So this one will build up and I've no idea where it's going to go. So I thought I'd show you sort of the two stages because that is something I have been working on with landscapes. Landscapes have been featuring quite heavily. I'd, I should probably keep this to a theme and show my other landscapes, but you know what? The sketchbook is open. So this is, I'm trying, okay, this is going to be a bit of an experiment for me because the pre, I've got one, the two, the sketchbook tour I'm going to do is going to be very to theme on loose floral still life um, scenes. But this time I'm with these, I'm actually switching it up a bit because I'm, I'm just going to have whatever I want, but it's a loose sketchbook. So yeah, you've got really loose, this one's starting off with very loose still life work, like completely playing around again, just still playing around when I've got paint left over, um, trying to get even more sort of, what's the word, faux naive, more just playful and uh what is this this is like neon is it oil pastel i don't know just adding on bits on top of each other i mean i think this one's done i think i'll leave that page so i wanted to show you my current that's a current sketchbook and then back to this one so this one's a bit why it's good to have multiple sketchbooks is also because when things are drying or you, then you can go to another one. You can quickly grab another one, especially if you found a way of working that's going well for you. Okay, so this sketchbook, I need to come, this page I've shown before, I want to come back in and I'm always tempted just to paint over the whole thing. I don't know if I could rescue that scene. This one, I don't know if I showed, but there was uh, last week, but this just had, um, I was experimenting with, the, oh yeah, the Conte crayons. I pushed them a bit more. I laid down some under here. I mixed them with water and there's Conte hard pastels. And then I came back because I had all this squash left over. I will show you my, um because I did a Patreon only process video for my gouache moleskin sketchbook, which is more, I feel for me, slower, a bit more slower, a bit more trying maybe to be a bit more skillful, a uh, slower sketchbook. Um, but then I had paint left over and good quality paint and I mean, I know it can really reactivate it. I could have just kept it out, but I was like, let's use it up. So I've got this sketch out again and I've just come in here. I mean, my process is basically just playing around with the texture, with making, you know, the foliage. I mean, it doesn't really resemble the, pa the photo accurately at all, but I think it's recognizable as a landscape in a sort of a foresty area. <laughs> but I like this one. I really actually do. I really like the, uh, it feels quick and spontaneous, which is what I like. Okay, so that was that sketchbook. And then, um, yeah, so then it gets really, do you want to see what we show next? Let's go to abstract, shall we? So, so as you can see, I, just, I have been making, I just haven't filmed it or taken photos this week. I've just Maybe because it felt like I should have been getting on with other things. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh. I suddenly find myself in these sketchbooks making uh, marks when I should have been doing something else. But um, yeah, and this is a, something I wanted to talk about quickly that I'm really getting into is I was a bit worried, actually, when I finished my other abstract sketchbook that I did a tour of. I was like, oh, am I going to end up just doing the same thing? But I don't think I will. I think all this abstract sketchbook is interesting because I'm, I suddenly realised you can come in with like pen, black pen, and the sort of what people would probably call, call doodling or detailed um, doodling. My other son showed me a beautifully doodled page in one of his notebooks today. But then, 
but I, I really like the effect. I mean, you could see the time. I don't know. I just really, the 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 graph the graphic lines that come in. So I'm coming into these pages. I haven't dated. I should really. I am getting better at dating, but not all the time. But here, I'm putting when I start them, and I want in the future to say when I've added a bit more, so you can sort of see them growing. But this could grow with this black pen. There's room for it when I just feel like uh, in that mood or zone to just want to be meditative, or I'm. You know, you could, if you've got 10 minutes here and there, you just want to lay down some marks. But it's quite fun seeing how they will transform, like, over time. You can, yeah, come back in. I wonder if, they're, if I will keep to coming in with black. I don't know. It's just a fun idea um, if you've got, you know, you're, you just need to have sort of a meditative, as it were, sketchbook exercise. Um, so that was abstract. And then with abstract, I still, I'm also doing... I've got some of this sort of like drawing. This was cheap drawing paper. It's actually like, it's meant to be 90 pounds. Like it's thickish. So it's taking some watercolour and I'm put, I like to put paint on and then play around with where these, uh, I don't know where these abstracts will go. Now I could stick these pieces of paper into that sketchbook, especially over pages that I don't love. So I'm just play. I just been playing around with um, bits of paper or old paper that I find. And then I did I show you these before. So this one, this is for actually from the week before. I might have shown this, but I really wax resist is obviously a simple technique that we all know about. But it, I feel like it's one that I forget about, and it's quite fast. If you've only got ten minutes, you haven't got not much time. Um, you know, fun to do. You could put this in your sketchbook, really. But these are just like Crayola. A lot often, like the cheapest crayons are the best. So these were like Crayola crayons. Here, I've tried because I also wondered about them for prints. But I don't think this is going to be uh, have enough contrast. I probably should have done black. I actually like the drawing. So this is yeah um, with then Japanese neon watercolors on top. But maybe I'll redo that and see if I could make that into um, another more finished drawing. And what else did I want to show for, um, oh, hold on, what's this? I've got so many piles of, those ones, no, these are to be scanned again. So, oh, I had a disaster. I've just realized that some of the prints that I'd scanned years ago, I deleted them all off my computer because they were taking up so much space. So I'm having to rescan work. Um, with talking about old bits of paper and recycling or reusing, uh, I did talk about this on the, I don't want to go over this too much of the same thing for, for the Patreon people. So I'm not going to show, I did show how I was recycling some works. This one I really like, and why is it got, oh, hmm. that's why it's probably good I scanned it in because it's now a little bit. Okay. So this was on an old, under here, this is 300 GSM watercolour paper that I obviously did uh, a drawing and then didn't like it. Oh, I'm really annoyed at myself. I've managed to get that dirty. I'm terrible at getting things grubby. Um, and then I painted over it with, this looks like pink acrylic paint. And, uh, and I'm really enjoying working on top of old paper. Uh, these like acryl, acryl gua gouaches are really good because yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't know if you could reuse watercolor paper I don't know if anyone's done this, by going over with watercolour, I'm not sure that's going to work. But it feels like, certainly if you've got watercolour paintings that you don't love, um, you could think about reusing them, uh, painting on top with acrylics. And actually, if the painting underneath comes through, it's actually quite, a, I think, quite a fun um, like an effect. It's like you've got a wallpaper effect coming through, but that was kind of accidental. So yeah, so then this was an old bit of paper that I'd rescue. So I'm gonna, so I'm just enjoying having these bits of paper that have got starter points, like there's two vases, and I've used up, this is where I'm using up old little bits of paint because the, that, this, the problem with acrylics, as we know, and acrylic gouache is that's gonna, I don't know, I'm sure there is a way of keeping it wet for further use, but tend, I tend to only squeeze out a small amount, but what I do squeeze out, I wanna use it fully up. And you use the paint again and again. So I just quite um, enjoy that. And then I have also been thinking about, oh, very loose, with landscapes, like a most playful, abstracted 
playful landscapes. Like I've started with these, oh, what is this? This is like uh, Japanese watercolors. And then going on top, we're left with, yeah, more gouache, oil pastels, and just, just playing about really. I mean, even if this doesn't work out for me, in terms of becoming like an abstracted landscape, I could then just cut it up and use it in my abstract sketchbook. Um, so, but it just allows me to be a bit, it's been, I'm not gonna, it's been weirdly, uh, um, and I have, you know, and the point is, it's, I think you need to have balance. I wouldn't want to just sit at a computer knocking out all my admin tasks all at once. I'd be way too sensible. Uh, it's good to also, I need to keep the creativity in my week and do art. I just keep forgetting to photograph it and video it. Uh, these are bits of paper that I've got in my to be altered um, uh, drawer. Now this, I'm not sure I'm necessarily going to, when I probably will, here I could use the transport I don't really like this one I did it and it's not my favorite I mean so I think I could either come back in or just play about I could keep some sections I do like I could even paint over and use it again like I did with that other one but this one I think I'll probably cut up but yeah so I do have a little basket I just keep them in a basket of ones that I can paint over this I think I'll totally erase so that's me still playing about altering work. And then finally, I just wanted to share, oh my God. Okay. And finally, this is, I thought I'd just share because it was nice to come back to this. Um, yeah, this was for a Patreon, for the Patreon process, which I sped it up two times, um, but I did this piece at the end of the week. And I just wanted to slow, I realized, you know, I totally take into account sometimes I am jumping around and I was like, how can I, what, what, what makes me slow down? Things that make me slow down are portraits and drawing people sometimes. I don't know why I get more realistic and with those. And also this sketchbook I love, I forgot, I, I, it's going to take me ages to fill it because I'm a bit, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, I want to keep, you know, you have more, I, I want to share with people because I want to encourage people. I, generally, a lot of my sketchbooks are working sketchbooks, but I do have a few sketchbooks that for me, someone else would be like, no, this is really sketchy. But for me, this is like a little bit, I'm getting a bit, I feel a little bit precious in this one. And there's scenes from, you know, like my phone that I like or from travel when I've been out, the running or for walks or oh, football ground. But I, how that football ground is um working out this one's a bit more sketchy obviously so yeah i think i didn't necessarily know when i started this it was going to end up being i knew i was going to keep to landscape but it feels like it is more for more considered keeping it not going it's not it's not meant to be for some people this might be like this is really loose but it's not meant to be a loose loose sketchbook i'm, I'm not i've got to be honest i, I really admire hyper realistic immaculate like I, I, I could really do admire that because I just don't have but I myself don't have the patience and for it and I myself personally I like to see it's a painting and I love brush strokes and like the, almost sometimes the accidents or the the I don't know what it is there's certain like someone might be like oh that should be a, you could if you use thicker grocery you did it you could probably get it flatter and smoother but I don't want oh I don't know how I got that and I don't think I could repeat that again. Now someone could probably tell me on the iPad and if you did Procreate you probably could but anyway the fun was in doing it and then you're like oh that's I really like that. I think this is even with cheap gouache. I'm not even sure this is my best gouache. Anyway so I just wanted to share this in case there's some little uh what's the word seeing something that you'll be like oh I want it, that's made me want to go in my sketchbook and that's given me an idea because I know I sometimes change my ideas. Next week, I've no idea what I'm going to be working on. Maybe it'll be the same. But um, I thought I'd share some of my like findings or experiments with you uh, in case you wanted to use them yourself. Uh, as always, thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, and I will see you hopefully in another one. Bye.